the cats moved again and the number of people was decreasing. Because the mice were gone, the cat had to start eating people. They all panicked. The cat opened its mouth at Jenny. But Hada called out to it. The cat turns his head and sees Hada in a mouse costume. He managed to divert the cat's attention as he dodged the attack as if he heard someone talking. He kept saying that it tickled. Hada looked for the sound and it was the cat talking. He rushed to gather them to scratch the cat. The cat was comfortable. It was quiet, seeing that the crisis was over. But they started to fight because they had to choose one of them to throw the bell. Their voices got louder and louder and the cat was woken up by the noise. He was even more ferocious than before, flashing his sharp claws and tearing everyone in front of him into pieces. It was too late to put him back to sleep. Hata could only attack. He wrapped his clothes around the basketball and the bell. They ran together towards the cat. But halfway through the run, the ball in Hada's hand inadvertently leaked out. The other side of the basketball must be the bell. His exposure made everyone angry. The cat also thought he saw through everything. 